Welcome to Endorphasmic, where we talk about all things endorphasm. I'm your hostess, Erica Porter. It's Thursday morning, and I've had a busy week, a kind of crazy week. But how I really measure success for myself is even though I accomplished a lot, I still, I still, sorry, <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling with laryngitis and I cannot talk. Um, So I still took care of myself. I took care of myself physically and emotionally. I moved better on some days than others. I spent quality time with Carlo. I spent as much quality time as I can with my 14-year-old son who his definition of quality time in these days is a little bit different. But I remind myself, I wasn't much different at that age. I caught up with friends and I got to spend time with my family. And I always take some time to celebrate all of my victories, no matter how small they may seem. And it's so important to take the time to celebrate your victories, no matter how big or small they might be. And at the end of the day, taking the time to celebrate those victories is a form of self-care. And we all know how important self-care is, I hope. And self-care or taking me time to recharge, to restore and practice self-love is great for our mental well-being because it helps us unwind and decompress. And it gives, it gives us some space for self-discovery and in some cases analysis. And when you have consistent self-care, it helps us to reboot our brains and it improves our concentration and it increases our productivity. And when you take that time for yourself, you're able to improve your relationships with other people. And when you, I mean, everyone from your partner, your friends, your siblings, your coworkers, your parents, um, your children, you just become a better person. And there's a reason that you get that safety warning on the plane when they advise you to apply your own oxygen mask before helping others, because we're not much used to anyone else if we're not filling our own cup. And our own cup is not full. And by the way, that is not the job of somebody else to fill our cup. It is our responsibility to do that for ourselves. And then we have the ability to make others feel like they're the only person on the planet. And so, and then that gets reciprocated, obviously. The more each person cares for themselves, the better they make you feel. And it's really important that celebrating your victories is a way to acknowledge that uh, the good that you've done and restore yourself mentally and hopefully physically as well, which has an obvious cause and effect. It helps to improve your relationships and it helps to improve your overall quality of life. And not to mention it improves your self-esteem. I mean, there are countless studies that show that children who are repeatedly celebrated and told they've done a great job grow up with higher self-esteem and aptitude to take on the world around them. That's, that's just, it's the truth. And even though you're no longer a child, you still reap those benefits so it's important, and we are able to do it for ourselves. And by by the way, typically, if we are celebrating those victories, if we are demonstrating self-care, if we are taking care of ourselves, both physically and mentally, emotion, all of that, then the world around us receives us differently, and we probably will receive praise and celebration and being told that we're doing a great job, which then in turn helps Build our self-esteem, even as adults. And tell yourself, celebrate your wins. Tell yourself that you've done a great job and see how great it makes you feel. 
you subconsciously prime yourself to push and achieve more. And biologically, your brain releases dopamine and you get this rush from achieving, which then motivates you to achieve more, to complete another task and another one and yet another one. And it just makes us an overall better person. So if you have not celebrated your small achievements, your wins, even with the hectic weeks that I know you have, I mean, I'm not any different. I experience it as well. There are stresses, but then it's also really, really important to, you know, even if it's just one task that you completed that day, or maybe you got to the gym or you went for a walk, whatever it is, it will continue to motivate you. I promise love, health, and happiness, and always much respect.